Part 3. Important facts about lines and angles. You will find this on page 160 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We will first revise some properties of angles that have been taught at primary level. Let us recall these properties and go through some examples. Now the first property. The sum of the adjacent angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. There's the property. Okay. Now, basically, it's just saying to me, A plus B plus C will be equal to 180 degrees. The abbreviation will be adjacent angles on a straight line. It's not necessary that you write the abbreviations in the examination, but it's good practice that you get used to it. So, given that ABC is a straight line, calculate the value of the unknown in each of the following. So, this is a straight line, so I form an equation. I make a statement. I say A plus 42 degrees is equal to 180, and I write the abbreviation. Then, remember equations. Can you remember? I want to get rid of this 42 on this side, so I subtract 42 on both sides. And that cancel out, and I'm ending up with this. Okay, and if I look at number B, it's again this plus this plus this will be 180. So to get B, it will be 180. And again, to cancel, I subtract 62 and I subtract 38. And I do that on both sides. Okay. And then I find my angle. I want you to do try now one and just do number B. Stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try now one. Okay, again this is a straight line, so I'm going to make use of this property. So I'm going to say D plus 74 degrees plus 57 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And my reason is adjacent angles on a straight, straight line. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to, now I want to cancel this. So if I want to cancel this, I'm going to subtract 74 on both sides. And I'm going to, remember, grab the sign, so subtract 57 on both sides. Okay, so let's just write it. So basically, to find D, I'm just going to say 180 minus 74 degrees minus 57 degrees. So basically the value of D will be equal to 49 degrees. Okay, let's look at the next example. Let's just move it up a little bit. So, given that X, Y, Z, just get a pen, X, Y, Z is a straight line. Calculate the value of the unknown in the following. E, okay, now if you see two E's, that means that angle R, Y, X, and S, Y, Z, they are exactly the same. They are equal. Okay. So I do just the same as I did on top. So I say E plus 126 plus E will give me 180. And there's my reason. Okay. And then, again, to cancel the 126 on this side, I subtract it. 126. Oh, it's a little bit unclear. Let's rather take another color. Red. So I subtract 126 on this side. And I subtract 1, 2, 6 on this side. And then basically I'm ending up with 2e. Now can you remember with equations what we do? We divide it by 2 on this side and we divide it by 2 on this side. And I get my answer is 27. So this will be 27 and this will also be 27 degrees. Okay, let's look at the one. I want you to do for me try now 2 and yes, just do that. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now to. Can you see it's a straight line? So I'm going to make the st same statement. I'm going to say 2 if plus the 75 degrees plus the 1 if, just if, and that will e be equal to 180. And I write my reason. It's adjacent angles on a straight line. 
Okay, and now I'm going to simplify. Now remember, to cancel, I want to get rid of this one. So I must subtract 75. And then I must subtract 75 on both sides. So basically, I will end up with 2F plus that, remember it's 1F, and it's just 180 minus that 75 degrees. So if I add 2 plus 1, it's like terms, so it's 3F, and if I subtract that, I'll come to 105 degrees. And now it's 3F, so I divide by 3, and if I divide by 3 on the left, I divide by 3 on the right. So the value of F will be equal to 35 degrees. Okay, let's come to the next property. The sum of all the angles at the point is 360. So basically, if I say A plus B plus C plus D, I will come to an answer of 360. And my abbreviation will be angles at a point. Okay, let's go through this example. Calculate the value of the unknown in each of the following. So basically, I'm just going to say X plus 110 plus 80 plus 90 will be 360. So to get x, I will just subtract, subtract, subtract on the left hand as well as on the right hand. And then I will get my answer. This one, remember a straight line is 180. So this is why y plus 180 plus that 78 plus that 21 will be equal to 360. And then I just subtract it on the other side and I will get an answer of 81. I could have just worked with one half and said 78 plus 21 plus y equals 180 and do it with that straight line. But it will come to the same answer. Okay. I want you to do for me, I want you to do for me try now free. Oh, sorry, it's not the correct pen. Try now free, and I want you to do number B. Okay. Let's do it. It's try now free. So basically, I'm just going to start at the point. I'm just going to say Q, start with the unknown, plus 70 degrees. And I'm just going around 70 degrees, plus the 50 degrees, plus the 55 degrees, plus the 65 degrees. And that will be equal to 360. And what will be my reason? My reason will be angles at a point. Okay, and now I'm going to simplify this. Now remember, if I want to cancel it out, I must subtract 70 on this side, subtract 70 on this side, subtract 70, subtract 70, subtract 50, subtract 50. So basically, and I have to move this a little bit, so to find Q, it will just be 360 minus the 70, minus the other 70, minus the 50, minus the 55, minus the 65. And then I will get that my value of Q will be, let's just see, it will be on the dot 50 degrees after I subtract that. Okay, and that was try now three. Let's look to the last few. Okay, now again, if I use X, X, that's the same, but this is three times X and this is four times X. So I, I'm following the same method. I'm forming an equation. This is still a revolution, so it's 360, so angles at the point. So I basically just go and I say this plus this plus this is equal to 360. And then if I want to cancel this one on this side, so I subtract 80 and I subtract 80. This will cancel and I'm ending up with this. So 3x plus 4x, it's like terms, it's 7x. So I divide 7. I remember, I'm dividing 7 on this side, and I'm dividing 7 on this side. And I'm getting an answer of 40 degrees. Okay. Now, let's do, I want you to do for me, try now 4. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now 4. So basically, just start. It's a revolution. So it's just say 4y plus that y, remember that is 90, plus the 90, plus the other y is 360. And let's just write the reason for that. That will be angles at a point. So basically, I must just get rid of that one. So I will subtract 90 on both sides. 
So I'm ending up with, okay, remember, this is 4 plus 1 plus 1. So it's actually 4, 5, 6 Y. And now remember it's 360 minus the 90 degrees. So 6 Y, what is 360 minus that will be 270 degrees. And then I will divide 6. Whatever I do on the one side, I do on the other side. And 270 divide 6, that will be equal to 45 degree. And that is my value of y. And then we're going to look at the last one, the last property. When two lines intersect, the vertical opposite angles are equal. So basically, it must be straight lines. Then that angle will be equal to this one. And this one will be equal to this one. Okay. And the abbreviation is vertical opposite angles. Okay. Let's just move it a little bit up, and we look at number... We have to move it still a little bit up. So number five. In the figure, R, S, T, and K are straight lines. Find the angle A and B. So just look. Um, let's first see. B is easy because it's vertical opposite to the 27. So basically, B is just 27, vertical opposite. And now this one, take note that this is a straight line. So I can basically say 27 plus A is 180 because it's a straight line. And then I can just solve this equation and I get A is 153 degrees. I want you to do try now 5. Okay. Now, let's start with try now 5. Mm, I just want to get the color for us. Try now 5. Try now 5. Now, basically, in this one, just let's just look at the picture. Can you see that POY is equal to XOQ? So that R, R, I can already say that the value of R will be 85. Why? Because it's vertical opposite angles. Okay. So, and it's uh, very good if you write it in. So, right there, it's 85. Okay. Okay, now, now we can work with a straight line. So I can b basically say to find S, and, uh, and the straight line I'm going to work with is that line. Oh, sorry, it's not so straight. Okay, so to find S, it's going to be, okay, let's just make it uh, this equation. So S plus the 85 degrees is going to give me a straight line, which is 180 degrees. And that will be the reason adjacent angles on a straight line. A line we can just line. We can write it out or we you you can just write L in. Okay. Now if we solve this, remember I want to get rid of this one. So I subtract 85 and I subtract 85 on both sides. So to find S will be 180 minus that 85 degrees and that will give me an answer of 95 degrees. And if this was just for the interesting, this was 95, then this one will also be 95 because it's vertical opposite angles.